keep the simple keys as we did earlier, as I showed how to deny the perimeter as far as him popping out or cutting back door. So now, as he pops up and do an elbow or a V cut, I still want to keep contact at all times. And as he pops out and he's ready to catch the ball, I still want to keep my hand out here so he makes a further pass away from the basket. So now when he catches the ball, I'm, at, I'm, I'm squared up and I want to keep him out the middle. And then also at the same time, I don't want to let him drive right past me. So I got to be square to him at all times. So now as he make his, his dribble or his play, his move, he takes that dribble. It's important for me to not take a step that way because therefore I will create a foul or he will create the opportunity to put his body into me to create a foul. So therefore my first step has to be towards the basket. So as he goes, I want to slide and keep my foot trying to cut him off towards the baseline. So as he makes a play and get ready to shoot the basketball, I can still get in front of him, square up. If he shoots the ball, give a good contest. I don't always have to block it. It's always important just to give a good contest no matter where he shoots the basketball from. So therefore, you can always be in his vision at all times. If he doesn't shoot it, now you get back on him because now he doesn't have a dribble. So now you put pressure on the ball. If he makes a play trying to pass the ball out, now you can get a deflection or whatever it may be because he can't dribble the ball anymore.